I'm yes, I'm super gay. Yeah. Yes, very very gay. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Calm down, Shelley. <laughs> so, uh, so what? You know, I read part of your book. Uh, Just part of it. Yeah. Well, why? Uh, well, because you, you're, you're a busy you're, man. No, no, I'm not. Okay. I have nothing to do. I thank other you. than battle cancer, Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, your job is to make me want to read the whole thing. That's why we have people come in here. Oh, I'm, okay. All right. I'm the only person who will ever interview you who will be honest with you. Yeah, that's true. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but the part about Brad Paisley, right. I, I was so, I was heartbreaking. Here you're sitting in front of the hotel door, and oh, God. You know. yeah. tell, me, tell me a little bit about that. Well, when a person like me hides and uh, does their best to dis, uh, camouflage their truth, um, I, I had no business being in a relationship with a man at any time in my life, but sure. there were times in my life that I tried to be in relationships with men to try to become straight. That wasn't the case with Brad. I knew that I couldn't become straight at that point. I knew that I, I was, uh, at that point I was just trying to settle. Um, and it's a horrible thing to say about such an amazing guy like Brad Paisley, but the long relationship that I'd had with my partner, Julia, about whom I speak in the book, our relationship had been ripped apart uh, by the hiding. We'd been hiding for well over a decade. What does she do for a living? She's an executive of some kind, right? Yeah, she's in the music business oh, okay. as well. And I was fairly certain we wouldn't make it. Why did you think uh, you had to hide it? I mean, Why did I think I yeah. had to hide it? Because there had never been an openly gay country music singer. Uh, I mean, I think about Katie Lang, and of course she was in Canada. I don't know whether she announced she was gay or not, but she was. She used to call her the Alberta Rose, you know, she's fabulous. Well, I'm sure you know. But. Yeah, how lucky is Nashville to have any association with that woman? Uh, Pretty lucky. Uh, she was never really a commercial country uh, artist as far as okay. commercial country music. Anyway, back to so you, you, you and Brad. And yeah, um, and so when I became involved with Brad, um, I was pretty certain that my partner and I weren't going to make it, and that left me, I knew I couldn't go date other women, so I thought, okay, I'll just settle, and I won't have complete love and fulfillment in my life. I'll just go find a companion that I, can, that I like, that I can spend my time with, and I won't have true love in my life. It's too bad. I'm just sitting there. I don't know what's the matter with me. There's nothing that's serious. I was just thinking it's too bad she, Marty Stewart wasn't available because I would have been a little closer to her. No, no. You're not, you're just, just a little <laughs> private joke between me and Marty. But anyway. <laughs> so you're dating. So you go hook up with Brad. Tell me about that. Um, Brad and I had a great time together. We toured. We wrote a lot of songs together. We recorded. We produced on one another's records. And... Um, again, I had no business being in that relationship, and I caused him a lot of confusion and hurt. I don't assume that he's pining over me now. Right. Uh, believe me, I think he's moved on and very happy in his life. But I felt that in writing my life story and in writing about the complexities of hiding, I needed to tell the entire truth, and, and I needed to admit the crimes I committed against Brad. Um, and and others. When when a person hides, they not only wreak havoc on themselves, but they just there's all kind of carnage on others. And I did that. Did you talk to? Her?